Hello and welcome to another C++ tutorial. Now in the last videos we have learned about the basics of functions and we have also learned about function parameters. Now in this video we're going to go over function overloading. Function overloading helps you to create more than one function with the same name and call them accordingly whenever whatever you want. As an example, suppose I want to create a function. I want to create a function to make square of integer variables. So here I get an integer value. And what I do is I just I just return val return the square of the value. Okay. So here I am doing the square of integers. Now, if I want to do square of a float variable that is a variable with decimal point, this function will not work. So I have to create another function. But in order, but uh, instead of doing that, what we can do is we can utilize function overloading and by utilizing function overloading we can create another function with same name but with a different parameter now make sure to give it a different parameter otherwise it will be ambiguous and it will, you will get a lot of errors so all you have to do is just write the same thing so what will happen is whenever from the main function we'll call this function square and we'll pass an integer value this function will get called and when we pa when we'll pass a float value this function will be called so let's go and quickly prototype these functions control c and paste it here make a prototype and just the same for the second one go and paste it here so now I'm going to call this function from here. So first of all I'm going to call the first function by doing sqr and passing an integer. So if I pass an integer what will happen is this function get called. So if I run it, oh I think I have done some error here. Return statement with a value in function returning a permissive I think I should store this value into somewhere. So let's go ahead and store val equals val asterisk val. And now I can return it. Now go and return val. Now let's copy this thing and do the same thing for the next one too. So go and paste it here. I think this should work now. It's again say some error. I don't know why. In function square int error return statement value of returning void. Oh shit! I have named the function void and I'm returning an integer. What the fuck? So name it int, and again from here we can name it int. Okay. So now I have a function and also same for the prototypes. Let's change the names of those. Int, and again int. So now when I go and run, what will happen is the first function gets called. So since I'm not doing anything, uh, I cannot so I can show you guys which function is getting called. So what I do is I'm giving a C out statement here. C out int function gets called. So by this you guys will know whenever <coughs> I'm sorry. Uh, by this you guys will know whenever the int function is called. Uh, let's make another C out statement for the float variable, I mean float function. So let's go and paste it right in there. And let's name it float function gets called. So now when I run it, as you can see, it says int function gets called because I have passed 5 and this function gets called. Now if I pass 5.5 .5 and write an f, now if I write an f, if I write f, it just states that I am passing a float. So it's always a good idea to pass float, otherwise you will get some errors. 
So if I pass this value and run it again, as you can see now it says float function gets caught. So this is the basics of function overloading. So according to the inputs I am giving, different functions are getting called, which have same name and same return type. Now I want you to give you guys a small pointer. Now never, never try to I mean overload functions by their return type okay you have to always give the same return type otherwise things will get ambiguous and it will give you a bunch of errors so always uh, remember to give same return type and different parameters and this is how function overloading works so I hope you guys enjoyed this video you learned something and if you have any questions just write those in comments Please make sure to subscribe and like and share. Thanks for watching.